Hey guys, today we are going to make a Cuban dish. Uh, right now, you guys, I forgot what it's called. I think it's called um, Cuban, no, Chorizo Cuban Stew or something like that. Anyway, so I just chopped up a large onion and I'm just sauteing it and I'm going to put in two tablespoons of garlic. All right, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I added the two tablespoons of garlic, and now we're just going to let that cook and just saute that up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so you guys, while that is sauteing, we are going to start on chopping two chipotle peppers in adobo sauce okay um it calls for two but i think i'm going to use three all right so we're going to chop that up and add that to the onion and garlic mixture okay guys so i added the three adobo peppers chopped adobo peppers to the mixture plus some of the sauce some of the adobo sauce inside inside of the can uh, added some of that probably about two tables two or three tablespoons of it okay you're just gonna let that cook down until the onions are translucent and I'll be back with the next step okay so guys this is the chorizo sausage that I got all right it's gluten free nitrate free non GMO no preservatives no cholesterol all right and I got it from H-E-B. Okay, that's the kid, y'all already know. And we're just going to roughly chop this up. All right, and we're going to add it uh, to the onions and garlic. And I'll be right back. Okay, so guys, so this is what the chorizo looks like. All right. And you're just going to stir that up in there and wait until it cooks and i'll be right back with the next step okay now we are going to add in the black beans i'm going to add in three cans of uh, black beans with lime and jalapeno okay you can just use regular black beans but i wanted to use the ones with jalapeno to add more flavor all right so you just add that in with the chorizo okay next and you're gonna add all of this in one after the other um, I'm adding in Rotel diced tomatoes with habanero and some diced tomatoes with green, green chilies but it only calls for two cans of diced tomatoes okay and some uh, what is this and some coconut milk um, what is it how many ounces let me find out how many ounces of coconut milk. 13 ounces of coconut milk, okay? This 11 ounces, so I'm going to need to put in a little bit more, all right? And you put all of that in there at once. So, you guys, I'm going to add all of these seasonings to the mixture. Onion powder, adobo seasoning, garlic powder, cumin, and Tony Sasseries. Okay, you can use any seasonings you want, but the uh, recipe does call for cumin. It calls for a, a, a teaspoon of cumin. Okay, but I'm going to add the rest of these seasonings in my pot. All right, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, this is what it looks like. All right, I don't know what yours looks like, but this is what mine looks like. Come stir this up so they can see what it, the consistency and stuff. All right, guys, this is the consistency. That's what it looks like. You guys, I just tasted it, and it hasn't even simmered and cooked all the way, and it is delicious. Hope you guys can see that good. I'm trying to hold the camera and stir at the same time, so please forgive me.
All right, guys, that's what it looks like up close. All right, dig in there and get some more. Just wanted you guys to get a close up. Bring it up some more. All right. Okay, and we're going to let that simmer on medium. And we're going to let it simmer for, I say, about 30 minutes. And we'll be back. Okay, after the stew is done cooking, you are going to turn it off and you're going to chop up a bunch of cilantro, like a handful of cilantro, and just throw it in there and stir, stir it up. And make sure you cook your rice because you're going to put your rice on top of the soup and, and that's how you're going to serve it. Okay, and I will be right back with the finished product. Bye. All right, you guys. This is what it's going to look like when it is done. All right. I hope y'all can see that. That's what it's going to look like. Delicious, you guys. It tastes so good. Y'all have to try this recipe. It's so easy. You just throw everything in the pot, basically. All right. And I'll be back with the show. Guys, I'm so happy to be back. I hope you guys are happy to be with me. All right, so today I made, are we going somewhere? Actually, you guys, we're at home, but we kind of are taking a trip to Cuba. Uh-huh, Cuba. Who wants to go to Cuba? Pack your bags because that's where we're going, you guys. Cuba. All right. So, I made, what is this? I made a uh, chorizo Cuban stew. Or it's called a Cuban chorizo stew. One of those two. I'll put it right here. Exactly what it's called. But um, I made it homemade, you guys. All right. And, um... It says to uh, eat it with rice, but I, I'm i gonna try it with rice, you guys. I have it on some rice right now, but I have my tortilla chips right here because I feel like it'll, it'll go really good with these, like to dip it or whatever, even though it's a stew. But I'm gonna try it with the rice first. And I made some fried sweet plantains. I'm gonna give you guys close-ups of everything. I have my country jar of water all right and i have my favorite you're making me so happy y'all so happy what's up y'all what has been freaking going on what is going on all right what is today y'all i don't even know what today is it is a shame i just finished filming a video uh, for this style here um, this is a flat twist out it will be up on my channel probably by the time you see this video it will be up so make sure you go and watch that link will be in the description box subscribe to my channel if, if you haven't already <laughs> thumbs up this video and comment tell me how you like it you guys all right so I'm surprised I'm, oh my god Excuse me for not having a gorgeous bowl like everybody else, but this is what it is, y'all, okay? All right, so I already showed you guys how to make it, and I showed you guys the um, the stew, but I'm just gonna show you what it looks like in my bowl. All right, y'all see that? I hope y'all see it really good, ooh. Y'all, it's so good. Oh my god. And these are the plantains. I hope I did them right. I know they taste really good. They taste like the ones that I've eaten in the restaurant. So that's what they look like. Okay. All right. Let me get myself focused back in and let's get to it, y'all. You guys already know that. This is a vegan meal. I've been doing quite a few vegan meals. Can I get my props, please, vegan, vegan naters? <laughs> Can I get my props? Um, so yeah, everything here is totally vegan. So happy. 
All right, uh, let me go ahead and taste this. See what supper. Okay, so I'm gonna get some with some rice. That's what it looks like. Mm. Mm -mm. You guys, it's all kinds of flavor. Oh my God. Cubans, please tell me if I did this right. Um, so this was requested, that's why I did it. But she actually requested like steak and plantains and all that stuff there. But I didn't want um, any steak. I wanted to make it vegan. You know, see if I can make it vegan. And I did. Mm. This is just one of their amazing dishes, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy and can follow the recipe that I did. Mm. Yeah, I got to have some crunch. Mmm. So good. I love it with the chips. Now, nah, these flavors... It kind of reminds me of um, a taco soup, but the flavors are different. Like they're, um, you could really taste that adobo sauce. Mmm. And the cumin. It's so good. Mmm. So what are y'all eating tonight? Are y'all eating with me? What y'all eating? I was talking to Fit Angie today. <clears throat> and she wanted to know what the cheese consisted of in that Daya pizza. This right here. <laughs> um, and um, it says here, it says Daya mild mozzarella and cheddar style shreds blend it said i guess it has filtered water tapioca starch non-gmo expeller pressed canola and or gmo expeller pressed safflower oil coconut oil pea protein isolate and active yeast salt vegan natural flavors which i don't know what that is um vegetable glycerin Yeast, extract, citric acid, all of that stuff, y'all. I guess that, I guess that makes up the cheese. I do not know, honestly. I might have to look that one up. But it's all um, natural ingredients, supposedly. So, I don't know, girl. All I know is that it was delicious. Delicious. But, um... I just love when y'all are so engaging that oh my god I really love that I got some really engaging subscribers for real like y'all keep coming back to engage and I love it mmm I don't think I stole it all in the um cooking clips that oh lord mm -mm. it's so good Jesus that I chopped up some green onions and put it in now some raw green onions so good Oh, that's cilantro. Mm, you can really taste that cilantro. Mm, mm, mm. If y'all don't try this, y'all cry. 
it's so easy it's like a one pot wonder like seriously yeah yeah I literally just finished filming let me get with this plantain It tastes like a potato, a sweet potato. Mmm. Yum. Hey, Jaden. Jaden's spying on me from under the door, y'all. Hey, buddy. Y'all call my kind of stuff. <laughs> hey, Diddy Pop. Hey, Diddy Pop. No. Oh. You want to come in? Come on. You can come in, buddy. Mm. I want to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. Y'all are coming through. For real. Thank y'all so much for subscribing. I really appreciate your support. Y'all. Just don't know. And oh my God. Y'all have some of the best freaking ideas. Somebody told me that I need to make it like a segment in my videos that um. Like when I go on a computer and, and shout you guys out and um and read comments like funny comments and stuff. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Don't don't hit the door, buddy. Yeah, it's nice and spicy, it's good. Excuse me. I need to put some chips on my plate. I'm gonna have to keep reaching over like this. God, this is good. Y'all, I don't think anybody can be vegan. You just know how to see. You just have to know how to season your food, for real. Like, don't nobody like bland food. Like, if I can be vegan and eat stuff like this, and that pizza, and that ice cream, I can be vegan all day long. That that they have a diet strawberry cheesecake. Mm. Yummers. That was um Chanel Searless. Wow. I'm definitely gonna check that out. Oh, uh, Shada Johnson said June 19th was her birthday. D then she said she was just playing. <laughs> See, y'all are freaking crazy for real. Alright, y'all. Okay. Y'all are so freaking crazy in these damn comments. All right. So Angie L says, uh, it should come 
she was talking about my uh, Korean barbecue. It should come with kimchi of some sort. I prefer the radish kimchi because it is crunchy. I love you. And I lo love that you love Asian food because your Asian viewers are all over these. They are all over the mukbangs. Oh my God. This is one of the best mukbangs. You are killing this food game. Yay. Thank you, Angie. And, um... Let's see. Glenda Ward wants to thank me for telling her about the dairy-free ice cream. Girl, y'all, if y'all cannot have dairy, y'all have to get that ice cream. Like, we have been deprived for too long, okay? That ice cream is where it is. Them big old brownie chunks, y'all, it's not playing. Ben and Jerry's is not playing with us, okay? All right, Nancy Rodriguez said, OMG, this looks absolutely delicious. Uh, Lola Bochi or Bochi? Bochi. She's the one who um, says that I need to put that um, segment in uh, the comments, the comment segment. Thank you so much, Lola, for that. That was a, an amazing idea, huh? All right. Tiki K is so crazy. He says, uh, you should have gotten kimchi with it. Yeah, I was wondering, like, I should have gotten something with that meat. Like, it seemed kind of off, even though it was, like, delicious. But I knew that something should have come with it. I'm going to call up there and see what's up. Because I'm thinking maybe they would have given it to me if I would have uh, stayed there and sat down. Because I saw other people with um, barbecue um a, you know, with the barbecue, and they had all kinds of stuff on their table. I'm like, what? I ain't hardly getting that. Mmm. Y'all are so sweet. Shanaz Hussein says she has the most radiant smile and soul. So beautiful. That is so sweet, y'all. Shout out to Anna, Nguyen, shout out to Crystal Woods. I like your earrings. Where'd you get them from? Please let me know. These came from Twa Naturals on Etsy. Okay, I will put it right here. T-W-A-A -A Naturals on Etsy. She's on Etsy, okay? I will put the link in the description box and her website up here. I love these, y'all. Y'all gonna see these a lot because I've been wearing them every freaking day. Okay. Er day. Okay. What's up, Kathy Kim? I love her. My Kathy. Omisha is the mother freaking bomb, y'all. Omisha Jones. She says, love this channel. Food looks yummy. You look cute. Awesome personality. Thank you, boo. She is so pretty. Y'all should see her thumbnail. It's gorgeous. Uh, Aisha Campbell, what's up to you? Uh, Shanina, Shanina Evans, what's up, check? Uh, mm. Yeah, I think I might eat all my food. Forget that spoon. Mrs. B. I said, OMG, I just died. You cracked me up. <laughs> when you were full and you were making that noise. <laughs> and you said, I'm full. <laughs> I really enjoy your video. <laughs> girl, I was full, girl. I feel like that's all about to come up. For real. Somebody said, finally a black person tries this black bean noodles so I could actually know how it tastes. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh my God. <laughs> Fit Angie says, good Lord, that all looks marvelous. I love the look of those jalapeno balls, baby. They were so good. They um they taste bomb. I laughed when you threw those chopsticks to the side. 
Y'all, I cannot do those damn one chopsticks. Like they slow the eating process up for me. Okay. For me. You know what? OMG laughed when I said bull corn. <laughs> Does anybody else say bull corn? Tell me in the comments. Do you say bull corn? Like I try to say other things instead of cussing sometimes, you know. And my words just come out really, really funny because I'm trying not to cuss. Maple Spoon, no, Maple Poon told me you don't rub the uh, wooden chopsticks a few times before using them. I didn't know I was supposed to do that, y'all. Y'all supposed to be telling me this stuff. I don't know that. The best drink in the world. <clears throat> Y'all better go try this. I'm trying to tell y'all. It's no joke. Hey y'all, I know y'all want some. Here you go. Mm, it's nice and blurry for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> How you like me now? <laughs> Vanessa Kills Patrick says, Yes, girl, it usually does come with vegetables. I knew it. I knew it. Fabio Madison says, I'm so excited to witness your channel grow more and more. I think that is so sweet. Love watching you. Such a raw passion for food and mug bangs. I love those earrings. Thank you. Thank you, girl. All right, y'all. Let me finish the food. But yeah, y'all, I didn't do nothing today. But um, what did I do? I filmed this video, but I was getting ready for this video like all freaking day. I sent um um Shahir his um package today. I was actually supposed to send his package on Monday, but y'all, it's a freaking long story. But Um, y'all, I just was going through everything. Like, I have got my packing tape. Like, I was trying to mail that thing off for two freaking days. Okay. But you're going to be happy. I hope you are. <clears throat> it's probably going to take like, what, a week to get to Pakistan? I think so. It might be longer than that. I don't know. And hopefully they give you all of the stuff that I put in there because I watched this show. I don't know what it's called. On t it's on Netflix. Um, am I focused? Yo, have I not been focused this entire time? Anyway, I, does it really even matter now? Because it's almost over. Anyway, it don't matter. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I watched this show, and it's like an airport show or whatever, and they go through people's, you know, bags overseas and stuff, and anyway, they just be ragging them about, you know, food, bringing food into other countries and stuff. I didn't know you couldn't bring food, and, and like, there's certain food that you cannot bring, which is ridiculous. It's food. Maybe those people want to eat their own food from their hometown, but they got to go somewhere else. And they want to bring their food. 
what is wrong with that? Like, anyway, so they be going through their packages that you can't have this cheese or you can't have this. Like, it's ridiculous, y'all. Like, I sent him, like, a bunch of snacks that I like. Hopefully, they let him have everything, you know, because they're going to go through the package. That's freaking weird. Mm. So yeah, I'm just picking up everything, the rice and the stew with the chip. So good. Y'all already know what's happening right now. I'm getting a little full. Oh my God. Y'all, I want to know who's a cat lover out there. And if you are, what do you do about, if you have like a cat that lives in your house, what do you do about the hair? Like all of the hair that cats always have everywhere. Like, is there a way to get that hair up? Like, what do y'all do? Because we had a cat living with us for like three months and I couldn't do it anymore. I could not do it anymore. Like it was ridiculous. The the catty cat litter stunk. I don't care where you put it. It's friggin' stunk. I don't care how they try to cover it up, whatever, you know. It stinks. It's like all you have to clean it out every time they use the bathroom. And it is oh my god, it stinks so bad. And I don't know, cats, I don't know. I like cats, but I just, they can't live in my house. I don't know. I just can't have them in my house. I can have a dog, but cats, mm -mm. I wish. If they could do something about the hair, are they like cats that um, don't shed, you know? Let me know. Let me know in the comments, y'all. Anyway, let me see if I can. Mm. Oh y'all. Mm, I'm some more of these. Mm. Mm. I wonder if this is in the potato family or the banana family. I think it's the banana family. I just looked that up. I know one of y'all will know. I swear. I know I'm not in focus because this mic is what's in focus. Mm hmm Y'all, I hope you don't mind, but I might be getting me some more foe. I've been craving foe, oh my God. I can't stop thinking about foe, seriously. Like, that stuff was the bomb. Mm, mm, mm. I be dreaming about foe. Foe, foe. I wonder who has tried this upon my recommendation. Who has tried Seagram's to making me happy? Let me know in the comments. Oh 
Oh, y'all. I also have a giveaway on my channel right now for, um, where is it at? Mm, oh, man, I don't have it up here. It's for some oils. Like, if you um, use oils, like, to burn or you use them on your skin or to do, like, shea butter mixes, um, I have a package of them, six essential different uh, oils. I got peppermint, eucalyptus, um, sweet orange, uh, lemongrass. Yeah, I got some good ones, y'all. So that giveaway is going on on my natural hair channel. So the link is always in the description box. And I'm full, you guys. It's been amazing hanging with y'all once again. Um, my next video, you know, I'm not even going to tell y'all what I'm going to do in my next video. I'm going to surprise you guys. So stay tuned, okay? Stay tuned to Yummy Bites TV. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Peace. Love y'all. Bye.